Hello and uh, welcome to another video of mine. Uh, this uh, video I want to show you uh, a review on the, the Inspire One Pro X5 camera. Uh, show you how it will function with the Litchi application. Litchi is an alternative application for a DJI Go. Uh, and what's good in this uh, application is that it's uh, first it's not free, it costs money uh, but it's worth every dollar or penny or any currency you use this application, uh, what's good in it, it allows you to use any uh, goggle such as this one uh, take your mobile inside uh, you can use any goggles that fits for your mobile and then you can uh, use it as a uh, VR goggles which means that you can see the camera of the drone like you sit on a drone and fly it uh, and then there is another option which I uh, show it to you right now which is very cool and therefore you need to choose your goggle uh, carefully uh, to be able to use these uh, options so we leave it for now on the side and I show you the application and then I show you how it's work as you can see the camera it's on the drone it's on up down everything is function my mobile is connected so uh, yeah you see my mobile is connected and um, I'm gonna show you now uh, how it's working yeah uh, here is the application as you can see on the map you can see uh, the house and area where I live camera is still on, if I use the controller, camera go up and down uh, yes, it's a lot of options on this uh, application uh, it's FPV, waypoint, follow me uh, orbit, focus, pano, track I want to concentrate on one uh, important point which is waypoints uh, which means that it's not like the DJI GO you don't have to fly in uh, any points and then record them and then you fly them next time. Here you can just point on a map, choose the height, exactly like the old FPV with the DJI Phantom 2 if uh, someone had this before. Uh, yes, uh, but the one I want to concentrate is that is the uh, options to have an uh, FPV. So if I choose uh, the camera for example, I can choose the camera, you can see my mobile in front of the camera. Uh, then I can choose uh, FPV which means that you can see uh, when once I move the, moba the mobile up and down the camera go up and down go to the left, go to the right uh, but there is another option which you're going to see right now which is the uh, FPV uh, mood but using the camera from the mobile so for example if you uh, put it on VR and you have the glasses on uh, your head then you want to see, uh, you, you need to see, you don't see the drone so you need to see the, the drone right so what you do is you, have, you set one button as you go to one button here that you set it to mobile camera VR C, C2 button on the controller on the back so what you do is after you set it up you then switch to camera mode and then you get this option VR and on a VR you can see that I move the mobile the camera of the drone is moved but what's more nice about it is that if you click C2 on the controller then you can switch the view to see the use the mobile camera to see the drone so you can uh, look at the drone do what you need and the thing is that it's move inside you see it still move the camera but if you take off this uh, gimbal head tracking for example then you can uh, then you can uh, switch between the camera of the drone 
and the camera of the mobile so once it's on your head you just click one button you can see it through the camera and uh, that's options that I talk this option that I talk about it's must be uh, used with the right goggle and I will explain what I mean the right goggle I'm going to show you how I put the mobile inside and what I mean what I mean uh, the right goggle is that uh, this goggle it's uh, have a uh, holes on either side so once I put my my mobile inside for example like this I put my mobile inside then the camera is uh, visible here so that's that's when you use the camera of the mobile it's be visible then you can use it uh, yeah so it's uh, you need to buy a, a goggle which is not have a solid lock uh, here and also you need to put the mobile on the right way because uh, if you put it on the wrong way for example the cable that's on this side you can put it either way it's switch the screen um, once you move the head to, once you want to look at the camera so every time you move to the I don't talk about when you move the camera with your head I just when you look at it so if you move uh, your head and you want to see this side then it can move to the other side the camera so you need to make sure you put it on a right orientation so you can uh, so it be correct but it's very very nice you know you look at the drone you do what you need you take it up on the air then you switch the view to the camera of the drone and then you can fly safe so you don't need to take this up out of your head and uh, it's a lot of options on uh, for example on screen display depth offset gimbal head tracking you can turn on and off gimbal speed aircraft head tracking you can choose you can choose uh, immersive joystick so you can choose one of those also it show you the aspect ratio also I, I altitude distance speed and how much uh, battery you have left and also head uh, where it's point uh, the camera yeah, so it show you all this information on the screen and then you can choose what you want and exit right on the button here you click exit and you can uh, you can uh, go out from this option but again you click on it it show you the camera from the the mobile you see the mobile camera and then you can switch this is a mobile camera and then you can switch to the normal camera of the drone so you can choose the option but you remember you need to set it inside the inside the application which button uh, you want to set it on and then it's do that the application is very 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 nice I think a lot of options a lot of options for the camera for example you can change a lot of setting uh, more than the DJI GO uh, yes and then you can change also ISO shutter speed f-stop and all this stuff and it give you all the information on the bottom of the screen uh, thank you very much for watching this video I make a video like this before you can see on the link uh, right here uh, with the X3 camera so this is the first video I make with the X5 camera it's supposed to be about the same but I just thought that I refresh a little and give you more information about this uh, options uh, also a link to Litchi uh, application to buy will be on the description below again I'm very happy you watch it and uh, thank you very much for watching see you on the next video Thank you.